Hello and welcome to Indipinoy Tech. Today we're going to look at how to set up Google Classroom if you are a teacher and how to access Google Classroom if you are a student. We're just going to look at the basic structure of it and if you like this video you could subscribe, you could uh, leave a comment and I would uh, produce more videos like it. Uh, let's jump into our uh, Google Chrome here and let's see how this is going to work. If you look at the screen, you'll see that I've got my uh, account opened. There are two tabs out here. One is going to act as a teacher and the other one is going to be acting as a student account. Okay, before we go into this further, let me clarify one thing that you might face while you're setting up Google Classroom. There are basically two kinds of accounts that you'll come across. One is the at the rate gmail.com account and the other one is at the rate whatever your institutional website is that account. For me that will be sau.edu.in. And so if you are working with your institutional account you will not be able to uh, have students who are not registered on your institutional account access information on that or join classes on that and if you are on the gmail account you will have students that have gmail account access it but not the ones on the institutional since we have that cleared out let's go on and see uh, how the google classroom is going to work now if you look at this my google account is uh, set to at the rate gmail okay that's one account and i've got another one that is also at the rate gmail.com one of them is going to act as a teacher account and one is going to act as a student account here we'll see that indipinoy at gmail.com would be our teacher account uh, click on the plus mark in this corner to either create or join a classroom and so since this is the teacher account we're going to create a classroom here very simple uh, this is a warning from uh, Google to make sure that you go and get the G Suite for uh, education and access Google classroom from there uh, since this is only for my YouTube channel I'm going to say I've read and understood that this is not going to be used for uh, school or class, uh, university and I'm going to continue that there's only one thing that is required but the others are optional that is up to you I would say it'll be it'll be better for us to fill up everything class name okay that would be the class that you're teaching so say you're teaching a, a, a course um, MGNT 121 yes that will be your course title maybe this is uh, principles of management okay I'm just uh, guessing these course titles and the course uh, names you can uh, if you have multiple sections you can give a title to that too section a what subject does it come under um, does it come under business no there's no business commerce okay economics I don't see business there management mm, I see some other things okay let me just put this as management okay and then room number so classroom 12 for example okay and then let's create this account now once we have created this account Google is going to set up our classroom and make sure um, things are in order okay now if you look at the screen here we can see Google is giving us uh, an idea of where we find what information okay so this is your theme you could select a different theme by clicking on there okay um, I would just go with this 
okay or if you want to customize your theme you want to make your own theme you can upload a picture by clicking up here and then you could either se select it from uh, your computer okay and uh, upload a picture and put it up there okay now as a teacher once you have set this up you'll have to give out your class code to your students and you'll find that right here this is your class code okay uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to just copy this one and I'm going to share it with my students or if you have a smart board or a projector you could uh, connect your laptop or your computer to the projector and project this on the screen for students to copy it one thing Google has done very well is to make sure that all the letters are in lowercase and therefore we will not have any confusion over your numbers and your letters like for example s and five there's absolutely no way you'll get confused with that or zero and an o you will not get confused with that and so google has actually done an excellent job with the classroom code okay let me close that up and then let's go on to the student account and see here this is my other gmail account for me to join as a student I, I just need to click on that plus button and join class this time I have copied the class code and I will just paste it here and join this class okay let's go and see the theme here if you notice this is the same theme as our classroom here okay this is the teacher account where the teacher has set this theme and therefore it reflects on the student account now there is there are four fields we have uh, filled up when we created that classroom and so if you click out here you will see the subject is management and then room also is given out here so you're basically sending out information by just sending out one small detail to your students and that is this class code that is here okay now once this is all set up you will have access to a lot of tools that you can use to communicate with your students and um, if I have to go on to tell you all of that it'll take a long time and therefore I'll stop with this video once you're familiar with setting up your classroom uh, you can watch my next video and uh, see what all you can do and why Google Classroom and WhatsApp are two different things and act in two separate ways. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing and also consider leaving a comment so that I would know your opinions on what else to create. and. If you dis didn't like this video, let me know that too so that I could make better videos in the future. Thank you so much.